Please welcome Solver Franklin Schaefer, President and CEO of CGFNS International. Good morning, everyone. This morning, I'd like to take you on a brief journey into the lives of refugees in Syria. This is a little personal experience for me because I am a nurse of 54 years. Dr. Patricia Davidson is an established nurse and a dean coming from Australia, migrating to the United States to take a position. There was one problem, though. They required her to be a registered nurse. The problem was, in 1988, severe flooding ravaged the university, Walgren, where she earned her degrees, thereby destroying her credentials totally. Dr. Davidson came to us at CGFNS, where we are the world's largest credentials evaluation organization for nurses. We help foreign educated nurses to take a new life, take, a new, take studies in a different country of their choice by assessing their academic and professional credentials. Using our credentials assessment experience and our state-of-the-art educational database, we were able to restore Dr. Davidson's credentials, enabling her to assume the role of dean of the John Hopkins School of Nursing. Today, that school of nursing is number one in the United States and very widely recognized around the world. Now imagine as an accomplished nurse as Dr. Davidson, but instead of coming from the stability of Australia, you are forced to leave everything behind and flee to a refugee camp in a foreign country. Meanwhile, conflict turns your workplace, your school, and your government into ruins. Without your professional license or your academic transcripts, you're not able to work as a nurse in another country. This is the reality of countless refugees around our world. While CGFNS has a history of 42 years of assessing accurately qualifications based on limited documentation, we are now exploring new ways of working with next to none, as is often the case for refugees. What we did for Dr. Davidson we aim to do at scale for Syrian refugees living in the Satari refugee camp in Jordan. Why is this important? Currently, we have a shortage of 9 million nurses around the globe, and this number is expected to increase. The Zatari refugee camp, as you can see in the background, is now Jordan's fourth largest city, over 100,000 refugees living there. How many of these refugees are qualified nurses who can't practice because of their credentials being inaccessible? That's where CGFNS's expertise comes into the forefront. As an NGO of the United Nations and a leader in the credentialing and evaluation verification fields, CGFNS's core mission can be summed up into one word, restore. In addition to leveraging our relationship with UNHCR and Jordanian officials, international organizations, we are developing blockchain-enabled uh, tools and methodologies that will help us to restore their credentials, the self-worth, the hope, and the, uh, and the dignity of these nurses. So how do we do this? Using Zatari Camp as our pilot, a, a CGFNS will collaborate with UNHCR and partners to restore refugees' qualifications using existing documentations, as well as forensic pro processes and uh, substantiating evidence. We then will evaluate these credentials according to our rigorous standards. We will then securely publish them on a private blockchain ledger. This creates a digital repository for individuals to access their verified credentials anytime, anywhere. This will enable nurses to be employed regardless of their circumstances, and to provide needed care whenever they may be. In other words, a nurse can be a nurse. This is a tremendous accomplishment. We'd like to thank everybody at MIT, Saul, for giving us the opportunity to begin this exciting journey. We hope that you will join us as we restore the credentials, as well as the life, the dignity of others. We owe it to them we owe it to ourselves and mankind. Thank you very much.